We are here in Dedham, Massachusetts, which is a town that abuts Boston, Massachusetts. It is on the banks of the Charles River. It's a beautiful late August afternoon, and we're at the Old Parish Cemetery, and we're looking at the final resting place of one of our nation's founding fathers. He is not as well known as uh, John Adams or Thomas Jefferson. However, he did die on uh, July 4th. It's Fisher Ames. Fisher Ames was born here in Dedham in 1758. He died July 4th, 1808. And uh, between that, he uh, graduated from Harvard. He was a lawyer. He was also the very first member of Congress uh, representing this area. And uh, as a member of the first Congress, he played a key role in writing the First Amendment of the U.S. Constitution. Now, uh, a few years later, he served about, I think, three terms in the Congress. And a few years later, in 1801, he wrote an essay entitled School Books. And in this essay, he advocated that the Bible be the major book, textbook. I don't know if he used the term textbook. Uh, and it's very interesting that the folks, the revisionists, tell us that the First Amendment was supposed to separate any mention of religion, of religion or Christianity in the public arena. Well, as my friend Reverend Stevie Kraft would say, that's a lie from the pit of hell because uh, the author, or one of the authors of the First Amendment, strongly urged the use of the Bible in schools. So if you're ever in Dedham, just a short distance from the de town, this town center, you could visit this, uh, this resting place of somebody who should be more well-known. And his two-volume essays, his letters and various articles he wrote, are available online. They were published by his son, Seth, Seth Ames. And uh, there is a wonderful little histor history museum here. It's not open on a regular basis. The Dedham Historical Society, we can learn more about this great man.